By the souls of the first indigenous government of Kwaibum State, and the leader of Pangan, Air Commander Donald Sinkara, and the State Chairman of the PDP of Kwaibum State, Honorable Dr. Bayer, rest in perfect peace. Amen. May please be seated. Thank you very much, gentlemen of the press. I would have been here before now, when we lost one of our elder statesmen in the Niger Delta, the chairman of Pandev, which was very painful to all of us. Unfortunately, again, a few days ago, I had the death of our party chairman. I couldn't believe it. I said, why at this point in time? I said, look, we've lost the party of China. We've also lost our own party China, who was just recently uh, elected. But again, as Christians, that's not what we can do. God does not give notice. If God gives notice, we would have prepared. But because there's no notice, nobody knows when it will happen. As Christians, he gives, he takes action. There's nothing you can do. I know how painful it is. I know what you are passed through this period of losing two great people at the same time. It's not easy. Let nobody praise it happens to you. Let nobody praise it that it happens to you. So I'm touched. And I said, look, I have to come and condole and come and tell my friend that what affects you affects me. No but can just do the more and great pity people. The pandemic chairman and the party chairman. So fortunate. So as we ask people, we are all Niger Delta states. We share the same problems. We share the same problems. So if anything happens to a private state, it does not affect the first state. Because at the end of the day, we have lost a voice. We have lost a voice, whether anybody likes it or not. So I have come here with some uh, the delegation sent by the Basu to come and commensurate and condone him and the people of the Bible said. And to say that, look, I know the problem you will see, you carry. No. Sometimes the family never prepared. He was my DG for both first term and second term. So for somebody who had been your director general for first and second term, you know the man must have proven that high level of loyalty and integrity. If it doesn't count, since he loves you in front, know that he loves you all around, both in front of you and behind of and behind you. What he doesn't say in front of you will never say behind you. It was that man of that level of integrity, character, and that kind of personality. And you could see even in the South South, he doesn't have that wall of discrimination amongst him at all. If something happens to any state in the South side, he will just tell you it's going. And before you know it, it's in that state. So I really want to thank the governors of the Niger Delta who have been calling since that time. All of you have called. All the governors of the Niger Delta they've called. My brother, these two guys were great guys. In fact, my party chairman, when they are introducing him, they used to call him Mr. Loyalty. He was that loyal to our party. He has served the party at the national level. He has served the party, started serving the party at state level. If you want any divination for loyalty, just look for Honorable Rudak Bayon. You will certainly get that any time, any day. It's so painful. And within this period, too, we lost the former chief of air staff, Air Marshal Edward. And also my former commissioner for lands, also still passed on. 
So you can imagine within a short period, four bodies on ground now to be buried by just one government. I think it's too much. Uh, we are bruised, I must say so. As a party, I think uh, we are grieved, we are in pain. But I believe um, we are just saying so as man. God knows best and um, God will, he said he will give us beauty for ashes. That's what we are holding on to. So we are trying to encourage ourselves. We really want to thank you and your team. We also use this opportunity to also plead with all our states within the region, at least, if they can join us on uh, 6th of February to bury our Pandev chairman. I really want to thank you. Thank all your members. You've been a brother. When you have a brother at a trying time, you know you have a brother. It's a trying moment for us, but I'm sure we'll overcome. So I really want to thank you and thank all those who have called us, those who would have loved to be here who couldn't make it here. May the God of heaven console us all and stay and keep us. And may this never happen to any of our states any longer.